Guys. Jasmine here with Sweet Whiskers and we are working on these two. This is Raven and Rudy. They are siblings, but they struggle to be together. And so we're doing a lot of training with them. We're trying to train them to be able to go into the same suite together. Hi, come here guys. Um, Raven. Um, so as you can see, what I've done here, they are being trained currently to go into the same suite. Let's roll you over here so you guys can actually see. Um, and actually, most people don't um, realize that, that this can be a problem with sibling groups. These two fight with each other in a suite. Um, however, because they are here for a long time, we get a lot of opportunities to do this kind of training experience with them. And um, I currently have an open suite, so I'm able to do this a lot with them right now. We're working really hard to get them integrated together, having a really positive, like this is a treat, this is a, this is a Rachel Way soupable treat. It's very lickable, very yummy. It's got big meaty chunks in it. Both the cats really love it. It's the same smell, so one isn't going to go over after the other's dishes too much. Rudy does love his food. Um, but the goal here is to have a positive moment. I have not latched the lower latch, which secures the door. I've only done the upper latch here so that I can get in there in case there's a quick emergency if they're fighting too much. Um, but I've given them a really positive treat. They're in the same space and they're shut in the same space. I'm gonna go ahead and let them eat this and I'm just gonna be positive. I'm gonna be keep it calm and cool in here. Any of the cats that are more of the uh, Loud cats have also been given a treat so that they are kind of focused on their dinner, on their food. Um, and this is also coming at a time where I haven't fed dinner yet. We're delaying dinner so that we have a high motivation for food right now, okay? Um, and so after they eat this and then uh, we've had a good little powwow here, hopefully without any clashing, um, then I'll be able to pop them in their sweets and they can have dinner for a regular meal. But this is one thing that we're doing to really slowly try and integrate these two into um, being okay with each other. Hold on here. Good girl, Raven. Now, Raven is starting to hiss at Rudy. Rudy is a food, a little food hoarder here. Maybe she'll pop over to the next dish. We have done this particular scenario probably about 10 times now. Not all interactions have been peaceful, and so this is why I'm really hopeful. This is the calmest I've seen Raven react to Rudy taking over her dish. A small little hiss. That is progress, guys. She was swatting and really hissing big time at him, so hopefully you guys can see. We want really amicable interactions here. So we've done this, yeah, about 10 times. This is, I think, the 11th time we've tried it now. And that was a really calm reaction. I want to stay close here just in case it does go south. Now that food dishes are empty, I'm going to have them sit in there together for just a little while longer. As long as we're being peaceful, I think this is a good, so far we've had a really good interaction here. Anyhow, so this is, this is kind of one form of training we do here. We do also do training, at, you know, house call visits for training as well. Um, a lot of cat behavior can simply just be narrowed down to uh, a toy placed in the wrong place or uh, a form of play that's incorrect for a cat or overstimulation for a cat. Um, but Raven's so patient. She knows she's just going to be let out. She just keeps looking at the door. These two are doing fantastic. So this is a great update. I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm going to actually pause the video because it's going to, I'm going to try and stretch it as long as it stays amicable. Um, and that may be a little longer today, it's looking like, and this video is starting to roll into a longer time frame. 
Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause it and let them, let them ride this out as long as I can. So I will give you an update and hopefully that will be here soon. Okay, so it's about 10 minutes and Raven is starting to get a little more edgy. She's starting to get to her crouch pounce position here. And anytime he comes by, she's swatting and hissing at him. So we're at about, let's see, 11 minutes, 55 seconds. So about 12 minutes now. Um, she's getting a little too edgy for my comfort level. I'm going to go ahead and let them out again. And that'll be the end of this little session. Um, but hopefully here soon we will get them integrated longer. I don't want anybody getting hurt. So there's an element of, you know, what's the risk liability I'm willing to put in and what... Um, I hear her little chittering. I don't know if you guys can see her little chins quivering. Okay, we're done. You're okay. I don't want to see that. Come on now. Come on, Raven. Hi, love. That was a really good session. Hi, Rudy. Here you are. Yep. I hear you. Come on. So there you go. That's one, one little powwow that we've done. Um, we'll be doing several more with them. They're here for a few months, so we're going to have some time to work on this, but um, sorry that's such a long video. It's a lot of waiting around with something like this, so uh, Raven is, is, she really likes being in a suite. She feels very safe in a suite. Um, she tends to choose her suite as opposed to free room several times, um, and so Rudy, however, he adores his free room. If he doesn't have free room, he starts to get very edgy, and he really likes to... Um, move around and be mentally stimulated so without that he starts getting destructive and edgy and uh, I say destructive <laughs> he shreds toys very very vigorously <laughs> so um, we want to keep him mentally stimulating keep up with this I don't feel like it's a hundred percent safe yet to put them in a suite for a long time so right now we're just doing multiple of these sessions together close and, and you know we're doing this multiple times a day to try and integrate these guys so Fingers crossed we will get some progress. So far, we're not there, but hang in there. Maybe by the end of this, Raven and Rudy will be together again. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great day, and that's, uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys want to see any cool videos or, or any subjects you want me to cover, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to uh, throw something together for you guys. Um, sometimes it's just waiting around while they're playing, and I would be happy to film a video for you guys and... Uh, make sure that I'm covering some content that's interesting to you. So uh, you guys have a great day and have a great weekend.